Record. Okay, oh, so you're recording now. Yep. Okay, so this is Tony. I'm here showing Andy how to use MPEG video, which is one of the best little MPEG editing things, I think. Uh, very cheap program you can get, and it's very fantastic for doing MPEGs. So I'm going to take an MPEG shot of a Lake Norman grass carp over here on the right. I'm going to pull it over here into this little block. This is the little kind of your little project file window there. And now we've got his grass carp piece of video. I double click on that. And it comes up over here in the preview window. This is your preview window for the clip, and over here is what your real program is going to be. So what I'm going to do, these are little in, this little button right here is mark in and mark out. You can see there, mark in and mark out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drag Andy to a place here, like maybe you want to see this fish get shot right here or whatever. I'm going to drag it right here. I'm going to put it in place or in the click. I'm going to come to over here. Let's say we want to end the action right there for some reason, and we'll put it out. We're going to drag it down onto this line where the little movie camera is. So now over here, and this is this is your program uh, hole, or actually your output, I guess it's called. And you can drag across here, and you can see there's our there's our edit, there's our piece of video. Now say we're going to jump ahead to I don't know here you're going, you're going, you're going. And here you shot another fish right there. Kind of put it in here. I'm gonna drag to wherever maybe I want to take the. Uh, okay, maybe we're getting to some boring stuff there. We'll stop right along in here. I'll put it out. I'll drag it down on the line right beside this one here. So now I've got a quick cut between those two. If I want to put a transition in there, I can. I'm not going to like cloud your mind tonight on how that's done. We'll go ahead again. One more. Here's another one. Another fish getting shot. We'll put it in. We'll put an out. We'll pull it down the line. So now we have a piece of video. This is the, the long extended clip but that you want that you edited. This is your output. And if you pull this little triangle here left and right, you can see there's your edits. And it shows you really here how that works. So we got 45 seconds of video. See how you got the, your, your time on this bar right here? These are actual seconds. So you've actually got here, it says, yeah, about 47 seconds. Okay, so we're going to output this. And you can hit this little export button down here to the lower right. I'm going to hit export. And so I'm going to put this on, uh, just on this hard drive in my, my documents here. I've got MP4 chosen. I can do that, or I can say uh, automatic MPEG, whatever. And so here it's going to make it just like it's an MPEG uh, 640 by 480, 25 frames per second. And what it's doing, it's actually reading what your MPEG is. And I, I like to just leave it on automatic most of the time. But you can do a lot of specialized different outputs, different ways you can do this. And I set up certain, uh, I set up certain little templates of uh, ways I like to save files. I'm going to call this Andy Edited. And I just hit Save. It's going to go into my documents. Look here how fast it goes. Now, I'm going to close this whole file. It appears up here on top is where you got your close. I'm going to close this. Now, I'm going to go to my documents. I'm going to look for Andy Edited. There we are. So we got an MPEG file here. Good shot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now that step back around. If you leave it automatic, it leaves the file in the exact uh, bit rate and everything that you recorded at, so you lose no quality. It does a great job. So there's our cut. Here's our second finish. Oh yeah. And you should have your next cut here just in a moment. Okay, and there's your next cut. There he is. Wait a minute, let me see if I can get him. And that's how you edit video using MPEG Video yeah. Wizard. And I'm going to put this on YouTube so okay. you can learn how to do this. Signing off, this is Tony at MPEG Video Wizard. Bam.